So what are the best tabletop tripods? You know, most of us already have proper tripods like this. However, sometimes the lowest height that it goes is not low enough, depending on if you're sitting at your desk or if you want your camera to come just above your monitor for live streaming or content creation. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite tabletop tripods coming up. Hey, what's up, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of strategy videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out a list of all the tripods, plus some bonus videos in the YouTube description below. Let's jump into the video. So about a year and a half ago, I started looking for a tabletop tripod, specifically because I live stream off of this GH5, and I wanted a tripod that would go the perfect height above my computer monitor and have a lot of adjustability. And for me, all of the tripods I had were either too tall or their legs ended up spreading too wide to get it into that perfect position. And so that led me to my first recommendation, which is this ReadyCam tripod. This is kind of a nice, mainly plastic, partially aluminum tripod that comes in for $30. And this is the main tripod that sits behind my computer monitor with my GH5 that I live stream from. Now actually, if you wanna see my full live streaming setup, I'll put a link to a video I did about it on the YouTube card and in the description below. But I have loved this tripod. Let's talk about some of the features. So this particular table tripod goes up to 19 inches tall. You can extend the center column here. What's great about it is it's very stable. You've got flip leg locks, and so those are my favorite kind of leg locks for really tightening it down. You've got these center bars of support in the middle. You've got rubber feet, and it's pretty basic. You have three-way pan and tilt with this kind of obnoxiously long um, loosening, tightening handle on the back here. It comes with a plastic quick-release plate, easy to use, and the payload of the tripod is six pounds or 2.7 kilograms. But again, this just sits behind my computer monitor. So once I've set it, I can basically forget it and just let it go from there. At $30, I think it's a good buy. It's a good solution. And the overall footprint is still pretty big. I mean, again, I've got this bigger desk that gives me some throw distance, if you will, behind my computer monitor than your computer monitor. And so depending on what you'd be using this for, I think it's a good tripod to look into. Additionally, I also sit in front of my window a lot and live stream with like a smartphone mount or I'll just shoot YouTube content using that nice window lighting. So again, a, a tripod like this is kind of a nice height to potentially um, be a solution like that for you. Which brings us to my second recommendation and one of my most recent discoveries, which is this Neewer tabletop tripod. Now this tripod comes in at $35 on Amazon here in the US and you can check out current prices in the YouTube description. I actually grabbed this during a Black Friday, Cyber Monday special for I think around $20, $25, which is really amazing. This tripod goes up to 20 inches in total height, one inch higher than the ReadyCam and supports 11 pounds or five kilograms. So definitely can take a bigger payload as well. It's all aluminum construction. It has kind of these pop out ability to make your legs go a little bit wider, which is nice if you wanna get really low shots and you could do all of the, the different legs. But then I suppose the stabilization, while feeling very sturdy, it's not quite as grounded as the ready cam with this nice middle support, but by no means is the knee were not solid. Um, it definitely is supported a 60 Mark II with a large lens here on the front. And you can see that maybe with the center column up, it's kind of pushing a little teeter-tottery, but if you bring it down a little lower tabletop tripod-wise, it definitely has a real solidness to it. Now, the Neewer does not have the flip leg locks, which I love, and at first I was worried about these kind of twist leg locks. However, they are pretty, pretty strong. So you can just compact them down just like that. You pull it out, and when you tighten them down nice and tight, they, they seem like they will just hold and they're not going anywhere. And where I really think the big advantage of the Neewer is, is ball leveling. For me, having that ball leveling can help you just make micro adjustments in the last minute to get your camera exactly at the leveled state, angling down a little, whatever your goals are, and then just tightening it down and starting to produce your content. Again, the ready cam is a little bit clunkier. You're untwisting this, you're loosening this back piece and kind of trying to figure out this angle. 
comfortable. But as I mentioned, once I have this tripod set up, I don't really make any adjustments. Whereas the newer, I could see this is a tripod I would take with me, throw this in my bag if I wanna be sitting at a hotel desk or sitting in some situation where I want to have my smartphone right in front of me, the ball leveling, the compact size, the more versatile features makes the Neewer have a few extra things that I really like. The Neewer also has an aluminum quick release plate and it has ball leveling on the tightening knob for the quick release plate, whereas the ReadyCam has some ball leveling just on the legs portion of uh, the tripod itself. And so in either case, I think both of these are a great solution. You just may want to reverse engineer it for the exact features you're looking for, for how you would use it. Now, thirdly, I think it's important that we talk about Gorilla Pods because these can act as a tabletop tripod, but are also versatile in a lot of other ways as well. And so I think your biggest drawback on Gorilla Pods is they kind of have a fixed height or they don't go necessarily super high. Of course, you can bend the legs lower to get a lower shot. However, they're only gonna be at a certain height, right? Once you kind of max that out. And so while sitting here, for instance, at this uh, couch, my height is, is pretty elevated. But again, when I'm sitting at my desk, a lot of times I will live stream um, or uh, do a lot of content straight from my phone, meaning Instagram stories or Facebook lives, right off of this setup right here. It's a Joby Gorilla Pod 3K. This is actually the SLR. Uh, zoom version, the older version, but the 3K is basically exactly the same, and a MiPhoto sidekick. And so um, that is a great setup right there. You can do um, horizontal video, vertical video. You've got the ball leveling to angle it down. It's a really nice setup. The 3K though, it's not gonna support very much weight, whereas of course the Nia were the ready camera holding some heavier cameras. But if you move up to the 5K, right here is a 60 Mark II with the 24 to 105 lens, and it's being held fine. And I've uh, traveled with this setup quite a bit. You can get different angles. It's gonna support the cam camera without you know, falling down. The stiffness of the legs while still being very bendable in case you wanna use it as even a vlog setup is all something that makes for really nice functionality in a diverse setup for whatever kind of content you're gonna be creating. On paper, the Joby 3K supports three kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds and costs around $40 with a nice ball leveling top on top of it. Then the 5K supports five kilograms or 11 pounds. And this one can cost as much as $110, which to be honest, I think is worth it. I mean, for how much I use it and how many different situations I use it in, I think that's a great price. Um, and I've even seen it in Amazon Warehouse kind of used or refurbished basically like new for as cheap as $90 though. So I think that uh, depending on your height needs, something like the uh, 5K or the 3K could be the solution you're looking for for kind of a tabletop tripod. Now, when it comes to these tabletop tripods, you may not be using a camera. You may just be using your phone for live streaming or for creating YouTube videos. And if that's the case, definitely check out my video about my favorite smartphone tripod mounts. And uh, this is an iographer. It's like a filmmaking case. And this would pair perfectly with these to be able to not only mount your phone, but also mount other accessories. And I talk about a few different of those in the video. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it up on the YouTube card and post a link to it in the description below. Question of the day, do you recommend any tabletop tripods and what tripod are you currently using for your content creation? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here and to check out other videos in our budget video creation series, click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.